Hayley Bieber's health has just had a serious scare, being admitted to hospital with a mini stroke. I'm really, really pleased and thankful to say that she has come out without any permanent injury. But how could someone at the age of 25 have a stroke-like clot like this? Well, in this video, I'm gonna go through that and talk about how you could avoid it in the future. If you don't know who I am, my name is Sarah Med. I'm a doctor working in London. I make videos about health, celebrity health, all things related. If that's something you're into, hit subscribe and you will stay informed. So the first thing is how on earth do we think that Hayley Bieber developed this? Well, I mean, there are so many risk factors for it. I know recently, back in the early February, she mentioned that she was much too young to be able to have children. Um, and so it's quite possible that she could be on a combined hormonal contraceptive pill since she's of a low weight. Um, so, and she doesn't really have any family history that might prevent her from not having it as far as public knowledge goes. So uh, that hormone pill, would increase her risk of clots. These include um, clots in the leg, clots in the lung, and clots in the brain. Okay, so that is one potential factor. The other thing is that she could be a smoker, could have high blood pressure or high cholesterol, and that is why you have to always be careful with your diet, no matter what your age. Uh, you know, when we're young, we all think that we're indestructible. We could go out and eat as much McDonald's, KFC or Burger King as we want and not have any uh, negative effects from it. But I think this um, story is really a wake-up call for lots of us out there, including myself. I mean, I love Pizza Hut, especially that garlic stuffed crust. It's so good. Um, but really to get ourselves in shape, exercise, um, have a healthy, balanced diet and lifestyle and try not to smoke, that is the worst thing that you could do. Um, so what would you do after that if someone has a mini stroke? Well, you have to see if there's any other causes. Could there be any narrowing in the arteries in the neck, the carotid arteries? That sometimes, if there are narrowings, can throw off clots into the head and you may need an operation to be able to clean out one of those. It would be very unlikely for her to have that unless she had a uh, genetic cause for it, um, such as familial hypercholesterolemia or uh, basically genetic reasons to have high cholesterol. So they'll be investigating her for all of those kinds of things. They'll investigate her for an irregular heartbeat, which again would be very uncommon um, in someone of her age. But if you do have an irregular heartbeat, that means that it doesn't beat evenly. Blood can pool in certain areas, clots can form, and then they can get thrown off into the head. So she will be tested for that. And she'll of course have head scans to make sure that there's no lasting injury. So. They do say it's a mini stroke or a stroke-like clot, but well, what makes it not a stroke? Well, a stroke is actually when the neurological symptoms that you have last for longer than 24 hours. And that means that actually a part of your brain has died, whereas with a TIA, it's more like um, it, the blood flow was reduced for a bit of time and then it came back again and the body dissolved the clot all on its own. So um, it's likely or possible that she could be started on some treatment for it, depending on if a cause was found. And uh, this could include some blood thinning medication and uh, some anti-cholesterol medication like a statin, potentially. So it's really interesting that this has happened to her um, and I hope that she continues to be well in the future and the cause is found and gotten rid of. And I uh, hope this has been useful for you to learn about the body and how a strokes or mini strokes may fall. So I'm Sarah Med. If you found this video interesting, you may find this video on Billie Eilish and her Tourette syndrome interesting here. So take a look at that and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, it's unlikely to be related to the COVID vaccine. So um, any kind of conspiracy theories are welcome but that's my opinion on it. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.